Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Grand rising, grand evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet. I hope all is well, family. Shout out to my beautiful soul, family. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Yes, welcome back, family. It's always a pleasure to have you all here. We are back for another episode of All 12 Star Signs, all right? We're here to check in for November. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got excited for a second. Yes, we are checking in for the month of November for love predictions for the month of November. Yes, we're going to see who's coming towards you for love, what's going on in your love life, family, and what do you need to know? What's the potential outcome? What's coming towards you in the future? Let's get into it. We're going to do all 12 zodiac signs for November love predictions all right so come on in get comfortable family all right we're doing aries all the way to pisces all right and thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback it's always appreciated all right definitely if you're new here don't forget to subscribe we would love to have you here a part of our family and if you would love more exclusive content definitely come check me out on patreon for early access to my content free questions and more all right, so no further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive in. All right, we're going to use the Love Romance Angel deck here to see what's coming towards you in the month of November for love. And then we'll clarify with some tarot to see who is this person that is going to be in your energy here for your love predictions in the month of November. And then we'll close out to see what feelings does this person have towards you and why. All right. So no further ado, family. Let's dive in. Smash the like button, loves, as you all come in. Wake everybody up. Let them know that we are live on channel five. All right. Or depending on when you're listening, some of you all, it may be tarot after dark for you. Okay. Okay. All right, we don't discriminate. The messages come in when they come in. All right, so wherever you are on this beautiful planet, just thank you for sharing your time with me today. I appreciate you. All right, so shout out to my evolving spirits. Let's dive in. All right, so first starting with my Aries. Grand rising Aries, grand evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here, Aries, for the month of November. What do we have for Aries? I hope all is well, Aries. Come on in. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here for the month of November. Let's see what is going to be Aries' love predictions here for the month of November. What's going on in Aries' love life here in the month of November, please? What's going on in Aries' love life? We got retreat. All right. It's time to disconnect from the world, Aries. I like it. So whoever this person here is, Aries, this is going to be someone that's going to get you out of your bubble, that's going to get you out of your shell, okay? This is going to be someone that's very adventurous. They're very outgoing, all right? This is the type of energy here that we have with this person that you are going to either be meeting. Some of y'all, you may have already met this person, okay? They're going to be very outgoing, all right? They love being in nature type of energy here. They're definitely going to help you to disconnect from your daily routines, just things that you do on a regular. This is going to be someone that's going to give you that reminder of it's okay to get out every once in a while type of energy here, okay? Wow, I love it. So let's see what other details can we find out about this person here, Aries. Let's see how is this person going to feel about you or let's just see what kind of characteristic traits, personality would this person have towards you, all right? Tell me more about this person for Aries love predictions for the month of November. I don't feel like I am good enough for you. Wow. 
So some of you all, this is another totally different energy here. Okay, so you may be having two different energies that you're going to be exchanging here with Aries in the month of November. And why am I not surprised? Okay, why am I not surprised, Aries? Okay, so you're going to have someone new and you're going to have someone from your past. Okay, um, someone that they may be realizing here from your past that they're not good enough for you. This could have been something that they did where they're not happy with themselves about it. They know it wasn't deserving for you to be treated however the way you may was treated by this person. So at this point, they feel like that they are not good enough for you. Okay, let's see why. All right, let's clarify this energy. We're also going to clarify that energy as well. Let's see why do we have the card here that says, I don't feel like I am good enough for Aries. Excuse me. Why do we have, I don't feel like that I am good enough for Aries. Let's see who is that person that feels that way about you in the month of November. What else is going on in Aries love life here? Yeah, the three of swords. Some of y'all, this person could be a Libra. All right, with the three of swords here. And this could be indicating because either this is someone who's already heartbroken. You know, someone could have already broken this person heart. They could be still going through a process where they're healing from their past relationship. All right, so that's maybe a reason why they feel like they're not good enough or maybe emotionally available to you because they're still hurting from a loss of a relationship of their very own from the past. So as much as I feel like Aries, that this person would want to be with you, would want to give you the world right now, they know in reality that they can't do that. And the more they come around you, the more they're being reminded of that. So that part of them makes them feel guilty because they're not able to give you what it is that you are desiring for at this time. All right. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreak, suffering, grief, e emotional pain, sorrow, hurt, divorce, loss, depression. OK, so now it makes sense that this person feels this way because it's not this person being rude or disrespectful. It's this person being honest with you. OK, so let's say this is someone that you're dating and, you know, you two may go on casual dates. You two may hang out on casual occasions, but it just doesn't get to go as far. I feel like that you maybe would want it to or imagine it for it to go. And that's because this person may distance themselves. They may come in and out, you know, not being in that space to commit. And I feel like, again, because of this, they're hurt. OK, so, you know, they can't give you what you're desiring and they're still trying to pick up their own pieces from their heart being broken from an ex from their past year. Again, some of y'all, this could be a Libra, a Gemini or Aquarius here. OK, now let's clarify this energy here. OK, this is someone that some of you all are connecting here with. Or as I mentioned, this is someone that's going to be very outgoing, very adventurous here that you may be connecting with here as well in the month of November. Tell me more about this energy here for retreats, for Aries. Wow, Aries, if the reading so far is resonating for you, Rams, don't forget to smash that like button, loves. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. Why do we have a retreat here for Aries? Why do we have a retreat here for Aries? Tell me more about retreats. We have the death card, Scorpio energy here. All right, some of y'all, this person here may be a Scorpio. So this is a situation where you're going to have opportunity to put some type of, you know, connection here to an end. This is some type of transformation, also a new beginning here. OK, the strength card talks about, oh, I said the strength card. Some of y'all, this could be a Leo as well or again, a Scorpio here. All right. I'm also hearing a Sagittarius, but the death card also talks about endings and new beginnings. OK, so some of y'all are definitely connecting here with the water sign for some of you all or a fire sign here. All right. And this is like a change for you. It's a transformation. It's definitely something that's out of the norm. 
I feel like whoever this person that you're getting to know here, this is not your usual type or expectation type of person here, but they're helping you to get outside of that box. They're helping you to, you know, overcome relationships or people that you have outgrown. Even maybe this person here, you know, the type of way that you're looking at your relationship or your love life is going to be completely different now, especially as you evolve and you grow and you get older as a person, the same way how you looked at love, maybe when you were in high school or a young a teenager or not even a teenager, just like a younger adult, it's not going to be like it is now, okay? And I feel like whoever this person here is, Aries, they're going to remind you of that, okay? They're going to bring you a little bit back in that youthful feeling, but it's going to be more so like your age level now, okay? If that makes any sense here, okay? But this is someone that's going to allow you to laugh and know that it's okay to have a sense of humor okay wow so let's see what is these energies here how they feel about you since i am getting two different energies coming out i'm gonna get one card for each i mean i might as well that's how i've been doing it here so far because there is two different energies you have two different people in the month of november aries that will be around okay so Let's get more insight on this person. Let's see what they will want to say to you right now. Let's see what are their feelings here at this point. Clarify this energy here. And again, this person particularly could be an air sign. That could be a Libra, a Gemini, or a Aquarius here for some of you all. Okay, or whomever that they are, energy is energy. So if that energy, if that energy, this energy here, Aries, if it resonates for you, then it doesn't matter what zodiac sign it is, okay? It's an energy, all right? So how does that energy here feel? How does this energy feel towards Aries? What do they want to say to Aries right now? Wow. I trust you unconditionally here. Wow. That's beautiful. And I feel like this is why this person, you know, they could kind of be back and forward, wishy-washy with you. They trust you unconditionally, but the thing is, is they're not able to trust themselves unconditionally because of their previous emotions and feelings that could obviously be all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me. And because of that, this is why this person can't give you 100% of themselves, but they love the fact that they can recognize in you that you are someone that they could trust unconditionally here. All right, the death card here, this is Scorpio energy. We're going to see about this water sign here for some of you all. Again, we're going to see what they want to say. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. <clears throat> Let's see about this person here for Aries. What do they want to say to Aries right now? What is this other energy here? I have to say wow again don't forget to smash that like button and loves if the readings here resonate for you we have the truth was a bitter pill to swallow wow so i feel like some of you all were having to put some type of situation or circumstance or to an end i feel like this is something that you two can relate to or this is going to be someone i'm hearing in my consciousness literally i'm hearing in my consciousness uh relatable so this is going to be someone that is very relatable to you. Like you will be able to actually relate to this person because you both might be experienced in the same type of transitioning, okay, of having a new beginning or having to be in a space where you're starting over, you're just getting on your feet, you have reestablished your foundation. So you're coming across someone and meeting someone that's on that same relatable path or experience as yours, okay? Okay. Wow, Aries. So this is very interesting here for you for your love predictions for the month of November. I definitely hope this helped brought you some type of clarity, insight on both energies here to kind of give you a feel of where things are going in the near future in the month of November. Definitely, if so, Aries, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our family. And I definitely look forward to the next energy check-in for you, Aries. All right. Mwah. Wow, I love it, love it, love it. All right, Taurus, how are you, bulls? I hope all is well. Come on in, Taurus. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions, Taurus, in the month of November.
What do we have for Taurus? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Let's see what is your love predictions, Taurus, in the month of November. Let's see what is Taurus love predictions. Welcome everyone that's coming in and sharing your time with me today. Thank you so much. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in, please. Thank you. Thank you. They'd be very much appreciated. What do we have for Taurus? <clears throat> wow, Taurus, fuck it up. We got, yes, this is your soulmate, bulls. Yes, some of you all ain't going to be single for long, okay? The month of November, you going to be busy, all right? We got soulmate energy here. So some of you all, this is confirmation for you today, Taurus, that this person that you are exchanging energies with or will be is going to be your soulmate, okay? This is going to be someone that's going to be very supportive of you, okay? Very much so in a space where they're going to be emotionally available, all right? They're going to be happy to be with you, happy to be around you. Let's get more insight on this person here. Tell me more what's going to take place here in Taurus love life here in the month of November. Let's see what other love predictions here. So far, you got a soulmate that you are going to be exchanging energies here with in the month of November. Let's see what other love predictions do we have here for the bulls. What other love predictions here? Thank you. We have, I know I need to work on myself. Yes, we are in that season of working on ourselves. We're in that Scorpio season where we're transitioning. We are putting people, places, and circumstances to an end that no longer resonates with us. So this is definitely something that's going on on a collective level, okay? But we also have here someone that knows that they need to work on themselves, okay? All right, very interesting here. Let's get more insight on this person here, Bulls. Let's see what else is going to be your love predictions here for the month of November. All right, some of y'all, this person could be an air sign, all right? They could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. All right, let's see what else. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's clarify this soulmate energy here. All right. Let's clarify the soulmate energy here, Taurus. Let's see what other details that we can find out about this soulmate energy here. Clarify this soulmate energy here for me for Taurus love prediction. Wow. Listen, you two are not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other. Some of y'all, this person may be a counselor, okay? They could be a counselor that you will be exchanging energies with, all right, Taurus? This card talks about partnership, okay? This card talks about proposal, marriage, a connection here, okay? So some of y'all are definitely going to be connecting with a soulmate here in the month of November. Now we have the four ones in reverse. Okay, we have Aries energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be an Aries, Taurus, or they could be a Leo or a Sagittarius here. So you also have two different energies coming out in your reading as well. Uh, Virgo, ooh, Virgo. Okay, so some of y'all, this person could be a Virgo that you may be connecting here with in the month of November, all right? But I wanted to say an Aries, all right? Aries had the same um, as far as two different people. So we had to do two different spreads here, all right, that was being predicted in the month of November as well. <clears throat> Let's see. Give me one second, Taurus.
All right, sorry about that, bull. Okay, so I want to know with these two different energies because obviously here, Taurus, we have one energy here that has to... Um, we have one energy here that needs to work on themselves, okay? So that is indicating to me that some of you all, Taurus, this person here, you may have already been in a relationship with them or you may have known that this person is someone that is struggling from their previous relationships here because we have obviously the four of ones in reverse. This could be a fire sign. Again, this could be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. All right, but this is an energy here of someone here that was in a relationship that was very off balance. All right, there could have been some personal concerns or issues or conflicts here with choices in this relationship. There could have been lack of support with one of the partners here, lack of communication, home conflict. Okay, um, so this definitely a situation where whoever this person is towards, they know that they need to work on themselves. They know that they have to better themselves as a person in order to have a balanced relationship with you or just with anyone in their life. If this is something that they experienced here previously from their past or if this was previously with you. OK, and then you have this energy over here that I feel like is someone more that is new for others of you all or some of you all. This is someone that you're getting to know that you're dating here or you will be, okay? You could be coming from this experience towards and going into this experience here in the month of November, okay? So just kind of take it how it resonates here for you. But we're gonna first clarify this energy here. Let's see, why do we have the four of wands in reverse? <clears throat> Let's see, why do we have the four of wands here in reverse? Why do we have the four of wands here in reverse for Taurus? Why do we have the four of wands in reverse for Taurus? The Harfon. There is your energy, Taurus. Okay, speaking of. So there was definitely a situation here where someone was not able to commit. <coughs> Excuse me. This person was in a non-committal relationship. Rather, if it was you, Taurus, or this person. And unfortunately, things did not work out. It could have been due to this person, like I said, lack of support or lack of behavior patterns, okay? Yeah, and they definitely want to come in with an apology here. So some of y'all, this could be an ex of yours. Again, they could be a fire sign here, or they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio here. But you definitely have communication coming in from this person who knows that they need to work on themselves, Taurus, okay? So it sounds like someone wants to make amends with you. They want to apologize to you, okay? They definitely want to make things to be in a better space or a place with you. I don't know if it's too late for this person or not. It's going to be different strokes for different folks. So let's now see what we got going on right here. Clarify soulmate energy here. Clarify this soulmate energy here for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this soulmate energy here for unfine love. Tell me more about this energy here. Clarify the soulmate energy. Okay, so we got the Knight of Cups coming out for that card as well. So in this predicament or in this situation here, all right, this is informing me that this person here is wanting to come in with the love offer. So this could definitely be someone new here, all right? Wow, and as soon as I said new, we got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely someone new for others of you all that you have been connecting with or you kind of been out on the dating scene or this is what you may be even manifesting here, okay? The Ace of Wands talks about things that you have manifested that you have desire to want to accomplish here all right again this could be a fire sign or they could be a water sign here okay wow so let's see what is these energies here going to have to say for the month of november let's see what is going to be their predictions towards you what else do we have here for the bulls tell me more what else do we have for taurus the 
we have your you express your thoughts through music okay wow so this person still thinks about you you may still communicate with this person her toys through music all right they may even still have dreams about you all right so this is someone again that still i feel like long for you they still want to be with you but they still know they have a lot of spiritual emotional work that they do have to do on themselves before they can make a decision to come towards you in the month of November. So let's see about this energy here. Tell me more about this soulmate energy here and this new beginning, okay? And this could be a Cancer we got here. We got also a Libra here. We got a Scorpio here as well, okay? And then we got a Sagittarius and Aries and a Leo energy there as well. Tell me more about this soulmate energy. Tell me more about Taurus love predictions here for November for soulmate. Thank you. Ooh, I am fixated on you. All right, someone here is very, very attracted to you. Listen, you and this person, honey, is not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other. Okay, we got some strong, compassionate love here between you and this person. Wow, Taurus, looking good for your love life predictions here for the month of November, Taurus. I definitely can't wait to see what the opportunities here are for these energies here in the near future. Wow, definitely if this resonated for you as well, Bulls, don't forget to subscribe, all right? We would love to have you here, part of our family. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Taurus, my email details are down below in the description box, all right? Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I appreciate you. And I definitely look forward to the next energy check-in, Taurus. All right. Mwah. All right. Gemini. How are you, Gems? I hope all is well. Come on in. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on in, Gems. I hope all is well. Shout out to everyone that is hanging out and sharing your time with me. I appreciate you, loves. Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in, please. Thank you, thank you. That'd be very much appreciated. All right, let's see what we have here for my gems. Let's see what we got for the gems. Let me get a drink of water if you don't mind. Give me one second, Gemini. <clears throat> All right. What do we have for Gemini placements? Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here. What's coming towards Gemini? For November love predictions here. What we have for the gems. Hi Gemini. I hope all is well. <clears throat> what is Gemini's love predictions here for the month of November please? Let's see what are your love predictions here gems for the month of November. What is Gemini's love predictions? Okay. We're going to try that again. That's a lot of cards jumping out at one time. So you may have someone that really wants to express themselves to you, Gems, that really wants to tell you how they feel. Let's see what else. Let's see what's coming towards Gemini for their love predictions in the month of November, please. What do we have for Gemini? Wow, trust. All right, Gems. This is calling for you to have faith all right this situation is calling for you to have faith so whoever this person here in the month of november that you will be connecting with gemini it's going to advise for you to have faith some of you all you may have recently experienced a painful ending of a relationship or you went through some type of obstacle or challenge when it came to your past relationship is why spirit wants you to trust that whoever this new person is that you're connecting with, they're not going to be like your ex. Okay. So please don't compare your ex to this person. Please try to be open-minded about this person and give this person a fair chance because 
I feel like whoever this person here is, they're going to have to be mindful to do the same thing for you. Because I feel like you two have may experience a challenging past relationship, it may be hard for you to trust people now. So this is why this card is coming out to ensure you, Gemini, that, you know, someone that you're going to be meeting if you haven't met this person already. Some of y'all, you may have already met this person here, but your spirit team want you to trust that everything that is happening right now in your love life is for a reason. All right, so let's see why. Let's see why here, Jim. <clears throat> let's see why. Let's get more insight about this person here. Let's get some more details about your love life, Gemini, in the month of November. What other love predictions here do we have coming in for my gems when it comes to the love life? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let's get one more card. The car fell out on the floor. Wow, your intelligence is so hot, Gemini. Okay, so the way how you think, the way you operate, the way how your mind just, you know, expresses itself to you. This person loves it. They love how smart and intelligent you are. They love how you know things that they don't know, you know, that really gives them an energy to be very attracted to you. It allows them to be more curious with you, wanting to get to know you even more just because you trigger that person in a part where you know things that they never imagined knowing. And for them, they love that shit. It turns them the fuck on, okay? So they love how intelligent you are or maybe what it is that you study or that you've learned about. And the information that you pass on to this person, they love that, okay? It really inspires them, all right? <clears throat> yeah, look at that. I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. Wow. So, yeah, this could definitely be someone new here that you're dating, that you're getting to know. You two may not be as much outspoken with each other just yet. It could be still new in on the relationship okay and like i said some y'all you may have not even met this person yet in the month of november okay but they could be someone that's very shy but at the same time they're going to be very attracted to you all right okay i like this so let's see what zodiac class we can get out of this person let's get some tarot out here and let's see what other details can we find out about your love predictions here, Gemini, in the month of November. What other love predictions do we have here in the month of November for Gemini? Let's clarify this trust card here, Gemini. Let's see exactly what you're needing to trust about this person here for your love predictions here in the month of November. Clarify the trust card in here for Gemini placements, please. Wow. We have the four of wands, okay, coming out in reverse. Some of y'all, this person here could be a fire sign, Gemini. They could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. So now I see why Spirit is saying for you to trust your relationship or trust this new person that you're going to be meeting because... confirmation from that noise in the background okay again i can't stress it enough i feel like some of y'all may find yourself having some trust issues still or you're realizing this or this person that you're dating you may be realizing this about this person here but this is what could have caused the conflicts between you and this person in the past we have the four ones in reverse with the four ones in reverse that definitely tells me that something is going on in the house Something is going on in this relationship. This is a couple here that's standing outside holding flowers and uniting together with each other, but it's in reverse. So ain't no uniting here. If anything, there could have been some type of separation. All right, right? This is someone from your past or this is someone new. With the come to your love life and your love predictions here, Gemini, for the month of November, there is a situation where it's going to be important for you to trust this process, 
trust what's happening, okay? Trust why people are being put on your path for whatever that certain reason is, okay? Let's clarify the four ones. Let's see why we have the four ones here. <clears throat> Let's see why. Clarify the four ones in reverse, please. Why do we have the four ones in reverse for Gemini? We have the full card here, Aries energy. So some of y'all, this person here could be an Aries. All right, a fire sign could be very significant. The full court talks about taking a leap of faith, a new beginning. Some of y'all, because like I said, because of the past relationship or experience that you experienced with your ex, don't feel like or think that this new person is going to treat you the same way that this person did from your past. Because that won't be fair to this new person or vice versa. If this person is putting you in that position to feel that way. All right, communicate with this person. Tell this person, hey, I am not your ex. I'm nothing like your ex. I'm a totally different person. Allow me to show you who I am. Trust me by saying that I'm not your ex. I don't do or look or act or talk like your ex, okay? However, this is going for whomever, all right? But Spirit wants you to take that leap of faith and trust that what's happening is meant to happen right now, just period. So let's see what does this person want to say to you in the month of November. All right, let's see how they're going to want to express themselves to you, Jim. <clears throat> Excuse me. If the reading so far is resonating for you, Jim, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we would love to have you here, Jim, a part of our family. Don't forget to smash that like button as well if the reading is resonating for you, Jim. What does this person want to say to Jim and I right now? What would this person like to say to Gemini? Okay, we have, I am strong. Oh, excuse me. I want to say I'm striving. So this person could be striving to become a better version of themselves. But we have here, I am starting to realize the depth of our connection. Wow. So whatever this person may did not see about you. To Ooh, Taurus. I want to say Taurus. So some of y'all, this person may be a Taurus, okay? But what I wanted to say is that this person here is starting to realize how serious the relationship actually is with you. And sometimes it takes people to have to be in a situation where they're separated for them to actually see the truth in someone else, okay? And it's like now this person is starting to see the truth in this situation. They're starting to see maybe why they done what they done, why they said what they said. You know, it could be several reasons here, but someone is definitely starting to realize that you were right, Gemini. You didn't deserve what I've given you. Whatever that case might be, someone definitely is going to want to come in here in the month of November and make amends with you, Gemini, for your love predictions here, okay? Wow, so there we have it, Gems. This is your love predictions here for the month of November. All right. Again, advice for you is to trust this process here for this person. All right. Wow. Beautiful. I love it, Gems. Definitely, if you love it, don't forget again to subscribe. Come check us out here on Patreon if you would love more exclusive content from my channel. Also, loves, if you would like to book a personal reading, Gems. My email details are down below, loves, in the description box, all right? Thank you so much, Gems, and I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Mwah. All right, Counselor, how are you? Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here for you, Counselorian. Let's see who is going to be in your love life here. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here, Count Syrian, for the month of November. Shout out to ones that are coming in and sharing your time with me today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please be sure to smash that like button. All right. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much, family. 
All right, Count Syrian, let's see what is going to be your love predictions here in the month of November. What do we have for Count Syrian? What is going to be Count Syrian's predictions of their love life here? What is Cancer's predictions of their love life? <clears throat> What is Count Sirius' predictions of their love life here in the month of November? What is Count Sirius' predictions of their love life? Wow, we have keep an open mind, Cancer. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? So know that this person that you're going to be meeting in the month of November is definitely not someone who you would maybe yourself point out in the crowd, okay? It's more so like this person is going to notice you first, Count Siren, before you notice this person, okay? And I feel like once they open up, once they start talking to you, once they start communicating with you, this is going to be someone that you're going to draw yourself as far as being attracted to in many different ways that you was not expecting to, okay? Because like I said, this is someone that's not your usual type and expectation, so your love predictions here is you're obviously going to be meeting someone new. You're obviously going to be meeting someone that's maybe a little bit outside the box. But I feel like that's what's going to attract you to this person. You know, confirmation from my device there. This is not going to be some typical person that you would just date. You know, not to say they're not attractive or anything, but I feel like it's just not someone that you would pick out in a line. But once they start opening their mouth, you may be like, wow, I would have never thought, you know, that you like to do those things or you, you or, you know, you sound like that or you have the opinion of that. You know, it's going to be something like that. OK, and we also got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, counselor. OK, so those are two different energies. there, two different situations or circumstances. So some of you all may have two different circumstances or people that is in your life here in the month of November. And then we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. All right. So know that you are lovable, Count Siren. You know, don't feel like that you're not. Just because you may be single right now does not mean that you are not lovable and that you don't deserve love. It's a time and a place for everything. All right. But let's get more details on this new person here that Spirit wants you to keep an open mind for here in the month of November. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person here in the month of November for Count Syrian. Tell me more about this person here in the month of November. Tell me more about keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Tell me more about keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, please. Tell me more about keeping an open mind here. Wow, we have the Six of Wands, Leo energy here, okay? Some of y'all, this person may be a Leo. They could be a Sagittarius or an Aries here. So whoever this person here is, as your spirit team here wants you to keep an open mind about cancer, this is someone that they could be very known in the public for whatever it is that they do, okay? Uh, they could be a public motivation or speaker, someone that is a community helper in the community. So a lot of people know this person. They could have a platform where they're known through their platform, whatever that may be. This is someone that's very attractive. They're very well known for whatever it is that they do. Wow, yeah, this is someone who wants a new beginning with you and they're very attracted to you is what the crazy thing here is. So for an example, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I want to get that cough out before I say what I'm gonna have to say. Okay, I don't need no interruptions. So I digress. What I want to say here is, Counselor, and excuse me, by the way, with that cough, um, this is going to be someone that you've always been compassionate or attracted to or finding yourself being always compassionate or attracted to. 
this is someone that you've always wanted to have this type of experience with as far as like the way for an example how this person treats you how they're so mannerable how they talk to you they have mannerism okay so they're very respectful they very much take your feelings and your emotions into consideration so that's the part of this person that i feel like is just going to draw you into this person here if that makes any sense wow and the three of swords is in reverse <coughs> this is it excuse me this is indicating to me counseling that someone is not hurt okay the three of swords is in reverse so whoever this person here is they're not someone that you have to worry about them still being hurt from someone from their past how many readings do you hear or how many readings do you click on in tarot land where a tarot reader always tell you about someone still being hurt from a situation from their past right so with this energy you got to take this opportunity while it's here. It's kind of like a once in a lifetime type of opportunity here with whoever this new person here is over here for your love predictions here in the month of November. Okay, so let's see what is this counseling that you need to pay attention to the red flags. Let's get more insight on this person or this energy here that counseling needs to pay attention to the red flags. Wow, Counselor, if the reading is resonating with you so far, don't forget to smash that like button, Counselor, and that'd be very much appreciated. Thank you so much, Counselor. Why do we have pay attention to the red flags? Whoa, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Taurus, Counselor, or they could be an Aries here that they want you to pay a close attention to the red flags. You may be getting an offer coming in, but this may not be a solid offer. They may have other agenda needs behind it. So be mindful of this person here. Again, they could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. What else the Cancer needs to be mindful of this person? <coughs> oh, because this is the very person who left you out of the code. <coughs> This is someone who may have abandoned you before, you know, or walked out on you before or disappointed you once before. <clears throat> yeah, they could have been involved with someone else. They could have been married. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This could have been a Sagittarius. They could have been a Cancer like yourself or a Gemini. All right, we got Cancer and Gemini energy here. Others of you all here, this again could be a Taurus. Yeah, they're coming in very unexpectedly. So you have an unexpected visit in the month of November from, from an ex or from someone here that you haven't talked to, Counselor, in quite some time. I feel like you knew eventually that this person was going to come towards you, but I feel like you maybe didn't know they were going to come on the day that they're going to come. Okay, others of you all, this could be Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, or a Capricorn. What did I say? We got the Three of Cups here. Someone is going to want to reconcile with you, okay? But Spirit said to be mindful of this person. Pay attention to whatever their intentions are. Make sure that it makes sense to you, okay? So let's see what are going to be their intentions here in the near future for your love predictions. This person that's coming back in to reconcile with Count Syrian. Let's see what is going to be their intentions. What is going to be their motives here? Why do we have this energy returning from the past? Why is there an energy returning here from the past for Count Syrian's love predictions? Because they, oh my gosh, Count Syrian, they feel like they need you. I need you, Count Syrian. Where are you going? Who told you that you could leave? Okay. Uh-uh. So let's see about this new person here, Count Syrian, that your spirit team wants you to keep an open mind about. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me more about this person here that spirit wants Count Syrian to keep an open mind about in the month of November. What does this person want to say to you? <clears throat> I don't show any emotions when people talk about you. So this is going to be someone that's very private. They're not going to be this type of person to be all out in the open, even though 
And I could see why, because they're already known in the public for whatever it is that they do. So I feel like this is going to be someone that's going to be very private about you. I wouldn't say where don't nobody know that they're dating, but I feel like this is going to be someone that whatever emotions and feels that they have about you, they're not going to be so much open about it because they like to keep that to themselves or more so like to keep their business to themselves. And I'm getting it's more so for a protective energy. So this is going to be someone that's going to be very, very protective over you, Count Sirian. So in order for them not to get taken advantage of, they want to be able to keep their love life to themselves. You know, but I don't feel like they're trying to keep you a secret or anything. I'm not picking up those type of vibes or energy. I'm just more so picking up that this person doesn't want to jeopardize or sabotage or allow anyone else to come in and try to intervene with this connection because of the way how they feel about you. They don't want to cause any type of conflicts with you. Okay. They really like you as a person here. All right. Wow. So this is what we have here for you, Count Syrian. All right. For the month of November, these are your love predictions here. Very interesting here, Count Syrian. Okay. Definitely, if this resonated for you, loves, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you here, Count Syrian, a part of our family. And definitely be sure to smash that like button, Count Syrian. Subscribe if this is your first time again. And definitely come and check us out on Patreon. If you would love more exclusive readings and content here from my channel, and if you would like to book a personal reading counselor, my email details are down below in the description box. If you would love to be a monthly member for personal readings, definitely email me for more details. Thank you so much, counselor, and I wish you and your partner or this person here the best, my loves. Mwah. All right, Leo. Let's see, what do we have here for Leos? Hi, Lions. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Let's see, what do we have for Leos when it comes to your love predictions in the month of November? Let's see what is going to be Leos' love predictions here in the month of November, please. Come on in, Leos. I hope all is well. What do we have for Leos? What is Leo's love predictions here in the month of November? What is going to be Leo's love predictions here? We have, wow, make the effort, Leo's. Don't be scared, Leo's. Mm -mm, don't be scared, okay? I feel like you're going to be connecting with someone new and both of you may try to act nonchalant towards each other or kind of act like you don't like each other, but you do. I'm getting the energy of here, like say if this is someone that you know of, okay, but you haven't just approached this person or maybe this person has approached you and then it's like up out the blue, they come towards you looking like this. They could come up to you and hug you out the blue. So you're looking around like, uh, okay, I guess I'm doing this with you right now. You know, it's that type of energy here, but I feel like you're going to like it. I feel like you're really going to like this person a lot, Leos, okay, if you don't already. Um, but I do feel like you know who this person here is. You may haven't approached this person in, you know, real life yet, but it's coming, okay? And when it does, your spirit team here wants you to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take yeah so you may be pushed out on the edge here to do so okay so don't be scared don't be shy i feel like this time is finally coming here where you're gonna really have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this person here okay so let's see what type of person is this person going to be Let's see, Leos, what is this person characteristic traits or personality? Let's see how they're going to feel about you. Let's get some more details on your love predictions here, Leos, in the month of November. Wow, you are the only one I see. Look at you two little love birds. <coughs> Baby, this is going to be somebody who's going to be really attracted to you, Leos. But damn, 
well, damn, Leos, I want to commit to you. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting this type of energy. So some of you all, it's gonna, it, it's always crazy on how we meet people and how some people just fall in love. You know, we always hear those stories of how people meet people and it'd be an awkward situation or an awkward space, but it ends up working out for that couple, right? I feel like I'm getting that same type of situation with this. This is a person that I feel like, Leo, you maybe never thought in a million years that you would be dating someone like this, that you would be in a relationship with someone like this, that you would be this person standing next to this person. I keep getting that type of energy or vibe here. All right. Wow. So <clears throat> let's get more details on make the effort. I'm loving this, Leos. All right. Definitely, if this is resonating for you, don't forget to smash that like button, Leos. All right. Oh, my goodness. What else details can we have about this person for Leo's love predictions here in November? We have the King of Swords. Ooh, some of y'all, this person may be an air sign. All right. Uh, they could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. All right, someone that's very smart, intelligent, someone that's very strong-minded here, okay? Let's see what else about this person here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what else does Leo need to know about their love predictions here for the month of November? Let's see what else. What else do Leo need to know? Clarify this King of Swords energy. Thank you. Wow, are you kidding me? We got the lovers or aka the two of cups. Okay, some of y'all, this person could be a Gemini or they could be a Cancer here. We got Cancer energy here as well. All right, but you are definitely going to be some two little love birds here. Okay, so you're definitely getting to know someone new. I do see this person may be very known in the public for whatever it is that they do. Okay, they could be some type of motivational speaker. They could be someone that's just very informative with you, okay? But we got Aquarius energy here, and we also have water energy here. A Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or this could also be a Taurus here, or we have Gemini or Aquarius as well, all right? Wow, so let's see what they're going to want to say to you. <clears throat> Let's see what communication will they be coming in besides this person wanting you to know that they want to commit to you and that they see you as the only one here. Let's see what else. How else is this person going to feel about Leo's in the month of November? How else is this person? I lost myself before. So this is going to be someone that's going to be like an open book. <clears throat> excuse me that's confirmation some of y'all this is going to be someone that's a very open book they're going to be very open to you they're not going to be some type of person that holds back from their emotions and things that they have experienced this is someone that loves to tell people how they come from where they come from and why they're where they're at type of energy here this is going to be someone that's very informative and they're not going to be someone that holds back with information. So that's good news, Leos. Wow. We also have, I departed when I saw you with someone else. So some of you all, you may have someone that had an eye out for you, but you could have stopped hearing from this person for quite some time. And you maybe thought something was wrong here. But this person may be stopped because they thought you were with someone else and they didn't want to be, I feel like, um, disrespectful for whoever energy that this is. All right. Wow, Leos. Well, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Definitely if this gave you some clarity and even confirmation for some of you all for your love predictions for the month of November. Definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, Leos. We would love to have you part of our family. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Leos, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box, all right? I love you, Lions, and I definitely wish you the best. Mwah. All right, Virgos. Hi, Virgos. I hope all is well. Come on in, Virgos. Let's see about the person here that's coming towards you in the month of November. 
<clears throat> Let's see what love predictions for the month of November that we have for you. What love predictions do we have for Virgo in the month of November? Let's see what we have. What's coming in love for Virgos in the month of November, please? <coughs> Excuse me for the coughs, all right? What we have for Virgo. What is Virgo's love predictions? Wow, we got make the effort. Okay, I believe Gemini had this same card. I'm not quite 100% sure, percent sure, excuse me. But we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're being guided to take, Virgos, okay? So there is someone that is in your space and that is in your energy here that's very attractive of you, but they haven't approached you quite just yet, okay? Someone is being very mindful. They're being very respectful, all right, of your energy here. And they're wanting to, I feel like, of course, address a situation with you, but they necessarily don't know how to. Yeah, we got let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Some of you all as well, Virgos, don't know how to approach this person or maybe how to make things adjustment to this person here. Okay, but for your love predictions here, Virgos, in the month of November is you or or this person somebody gonna have to step up to the plate and make a move first so there is someone that you may know this person already virgos but you two haven't really much been communicating with each other or you know you're kind of maybe waiting on the other and the other is waiting on you type of energy here but you both kind of know how you feel about each other <coughs> Excuse me. Let me drink some of my water here. It could be a little challenging having to do 12 zodiac signs straight. Okay. So just be patient and bear with me. All right. Because I have the coughs with it today. Oh my gosh. All these cards are just jumping out of nowhere. This person is going to have a lot to say. All right. Let's see what else about this person here for the month of November. Tell me more about this person. Let's get more details about your love life here in the month of November here. Wow, we have I see you in my dreams. I told you. I remember mentioning that whoever this person here is, some of y'all, you maybe haven't met this person, but or I would say just like in person, but you know who this person is. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that makes any sense. You already know who this person is. You already have an idea who this person here is that has their eye out on you. Okay. This is someone here that's very attracted to you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what they want to say. I want to get more characteristics about this person. All right. Tell me more about this person that sees Virgo in their dreams. You may see this person in your dreams as well. This is someone that definitely wants to make the effort, but I feel like they want to also be respectful because I feel like some of y'all, this person don't know if you're single or not. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this could be someone within your working environment, or someone that you run across on a typical routine or occasion, but they never just kind of asked or introduced themselves to you just yet. All right, let's see what else. Clarify, make the effort, and I see you in my dreams, please. Clarify, make the effort, and I see you in my dreams. Clarify, make the effort, and I see you in my dreams. Clarify, make the effort, and I see you in my dreams. The Five of Swords, Aquarius energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Others of y'all, this could be a Gemini or a Libra. Now, the Five of Swords in reverse is an energy of someone that wants to desire to reconcile with you. All right, this is someone that has made or wanting to make amends with you. 
This is someone that is desiring to forgive for what they've done. So this is why you keep coming up in this person's dreams because they've been wanting to reach out to you or communicate to you for the longest Virgos, but they either don't know how to or what to say. They don't know if you may be moved on or if you're going to go cuss their asses out. They just don't know. So they've been contemplating about this. They've been contemplating with trying to communicate to you what to say to you type of energy here. All right, what else? What else about this person here for Virgo love predictions for the month of November? Wow, Virgos, if this is resonating for you, again, don't forget to smash that like button, loves. All right, that'd be very much appreciated. <clears throat> we got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. Some of y'all, this person could be a Sagittarius. This is someone that you may have already decided to put things to an end to within the past or vice versa. And again, they're wanting to come back in in the month of November and just make peace with this situation. You two maybe didn't leave off on a good note. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what they want to say. All right, Virgos, let's see what this person here wants to say. What are, what are they going to want to do? Let's see what are going to be their future actions here. Why is this person coming in in the month of November? What do they want to say? What is going to be their actions here towards Virgo, please? Again, this could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries, all right, a Gemini, Aquarius, <clears throat> or a Libra here, okay? What is this person going to say when they reach out to Virgo here in November? Whoa, hold on. I don't want to be platonic. Okay, wow. So this person is wanting to let you know, I don't want to just be your friend. I want to be more than friends. Okay, someone definitely wants to take things to the next level here with you. Settle down with you. You know, do things the right way. They may was a person that wasn't emotionally available or physically available. They want to come in and actually be that person that they wasn't able to be to you in the past for some of you all. Wow, Virgos. So this is what we have here for you, Virgos. All right. This is what your love predictions here are for the month of November and why. All right. I definitely hope this gave you some clarity, maybe gave you some confirmation on what you maybe was already intuitively picking up about this person. Definitely is so. Don't forget to subscribe, Virgos. We would love to have you here, part of our family. All right, don't forget to smash that like button and come and check us out on Patreon if you would love more exclusive readings and or free questions when I go live for my Patreon family, all right? Thank you so much, Virgos, and I wish you and this person here the best, all right? Mwah. All right, Libras, how are you, loves? I hope all is well, Libra. Come on in. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions, Libra, for the month of November. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shout out to everyone that's coming in and sharing your time with me today and listening to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in. Thank you so much. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. So let's see here, Libra. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions for the month of November 2024. What is going to be Libra's love predictions here for the month of November? What is going to be Libra's love predictions? We have let go of control issues. Wow. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, Libra. <coughs> All right. Let's talk about it, Libra. Y'all always give me something to talk about, okay? So there is someone in the month of November, Libra, when it comes to your love life here, that you have exchanged energies with, okay? That your spirit team wants you to let go of trying to do everything, it's okay sometimes not to know all the answers. Some things are meant for you not to know so it can work out in your favor without you knowing. Some of you all, 
it may irks you because you don't have control over this situation or this person like you will want to. And that could be simply something you wanted to be in control of always making date night or being in control of what should be done next in the relationship. And Spirit is just saying, just go with the flow. Just allow everything to unfold naturally when you meet this person. Others of you all, because you don't have all the details, maybe this is someone that they, they could be dating or, you know, they could still be involved with someone from their past and you may not have all the details. They could have had a mother or a father that they had a child with, okay? And they are not, you know, giving you all the information that you may be looking forward to. Spirit just said, just allow everything that you want to know to unfold naturally, okay? Because when you go looking for it, you'll find out, right? Let's see what this person wants to say. Let's get more details about this person here for your love predictions, Libra, in the month of November. Whoa. Let's see what popped out. Let me, yeah, look at that. What were we just talking about the date card? Let me take you out on a date. Yeah, some of y'all, you could have freaked out because the date night didn't go the way you expected it. And that's the thing, you may, if things don't go your way or don't be controlled the way that you planned out, you start freaking out and shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. And someone just simply wants to take you out on a date, but you don't have to have everything perfect, Libra, okay? And even if you didn't get to make it to date night, what if something came up, you start freaking out about that? Don't freak out. Is what spirit here is saying. This person is already attracted to you. You know, they already find you very attractive. So you don't have to panic over the situation here. Your time will come with this person when it's time. We also got at the bottom of the deck here. I hope you haven't moved on. All right. So this could be someone that you're dating here. And they hope that things haven't changed. They hope that you haven't moved on. Whoever this person here is that may want to take you on a date. Others of you all, you could have someone new in your energy here. And then you can have someone from your past that is still in your energy in the month of November. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Let's clarify this card that says let go of control issues. Why do we have let go of control issues here? Clarify let go of control issues here for Libra for their love predictions here in the month of November. Why do we have love, let them go, let go of control issues? Some of y'all, you might need to let them go, let somebody go. I heard that too. The Seven of Cups. Wow, some of y'all, this person could be a Scorpio, Libra, or they could be a Cancer or a Pisces here. This card talks about opportunities, okay? Wishful thinking, choices. Some of y'all, you realize that you have a choice to make because, again, there are two different people in your energy. You have someone from your past or an ex here, Libra, that hopes that you haven't moved on yet. And then you have this new person here, that wants to take you out on a date. So some of you could be straddling the fence or being indecisive, okay, or freaking out again because things are not going the way that you maybe have planned them to go. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups here for Libra. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, look at that. You definitely got an offer here coming in and this could be from an earth sign as well. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. You definitely have a solid offer coming in or wanting to come in here towards you. They could also be a Taurus here or an Aries. Wow, very significant here, okay? So you got options, okay? You got several cups here. You got several different avenues here that you could take. So definitely be mindful and follow your intuition here. Libra, all right? Let's get more insight on this person. Let's see what this person here is going to want to say when they meet you or see you for the first time or maybe, you know, in the first time in public or 
in person, I would say here. Let's see what this person is going to want to say. Tell me more about this energy here for Libra when it comes to their love life here. Tell me more. We got, wow, we got, I need you. And then we have you express your thoughts through music. All right. Oh, my goodness. I feel like some of you all, whoever this ex is, whoever this person from your past here that hoped you haven't moved on yet. I feel like they still need you or feel like that they need you, okay? And then you have this new person over here. And they're like, man, I keep expressing myself to you through music. I wonder if Libra hears me as I am hearing Libra when I'm listening to these certain songs. Because when they listen to these certain songs, they go right to you. Your name come right up in their head every time this person hears certain songs about you. So you're going to have to make a decision here. Some of y'all may find yourself, uh oh, sorry about that. Some of y'all, Libra, you may find yourself being torn in between the two, okay? With having to make a decision here between your past and this new person, your past or this new person here, okay? Well, good luck, okay? Use your discernment here and choose wisely here, Libra, okay? Wow, so those are your love predictions here, Libra, for the month of November. All right, definitely if this gave you some type of clarity, confirmation for you, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here a part of our family. All right, I love you, Libra, and I definitely wish you and this person the best, my loves. Mwah. All right, Scorpios. Hi, Scorpios. How are you? I hope all is well, Scorpies. Come on in. We're going to see what is your love predictions here, Scorpios, for the month of November. Shout out to everyone that's coming in. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in, please. Thank you. Thank you. That'd be very much appreciated. All right, Scorpios, what do we have for Scorpios? We have free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Wow. So some of you all in the month of November, you could feel like that you may have been held down or you may have been limited to what you can do or you maybe felt stuck in your past relationship or just stuck in situations that it doesn't have you to focus on love. And your spirit team here wants you to free yourself from either a person, a place, or a thing. Something here that you may find yourself being held back from and missing opportunities for an actual romantic partner here in the month of November. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, so... I feel like whoever you could either be dating right now or you could be stuck on this person right now, okay? I am not here to judge. Whatever this is because it's keeping you inside of this gate. What unicorn that you know that is comfortable being inside of this gate, okay? So eventually, you're going to have to take time to take back control of your life because there is someone here that's trying to come in that's a soulmate in the month of November here. So your love predictions for the month of November, Scorpios, is that there is a soulmate that's available to you. Are you going to take up the offer or are you going to remain in the situation that you're in now? Some of y'all are going to find yourself having to make a major decision. All right. So let's get some more details about this person here that you're going to be meeting in the month of November. What else about this person here? What are the love predictions? Can we get one card at a time, please? <clears throat> we got, I think you are very funny, okay? Wow, so this person, whoever this energy is, they're going to love your sense of humor. They're going to love how you make them laugh, all right? They really appreciate that. It really makes them feel very happy to i feel like be with you or um to be around you wow so let's get more insight on this person let's see what zodiac sign 
<clears throat> excuse me, is this person here? Tell me more about this person, please. Tell me more about this person that thinks Scorpio is so funny. Like, you really uplift this person's spirit. You really make them happy. They enjoy being around you. Okay? It's why I feel like spirit wants you to keep an open mind about this person. Some of y'all didn't have the slightest clue that someone is attracted to you. And maybe you could see this person or talk to this person every day. And you maybe didn't know that this person looks at you the way, looks at you in this way. Okay? Wow, we have the three of swords, heartbreak, suffering, grief, emotional pain. So this is why you are not able to be capable, Scorpio, of seeing this person because you're still healing from someone from your past. You're still hurt behind a situation here. We got the three of swords here. Some of y'all, you could still be in a relationship with the Libra or they could be Aquarius or a Gemini here that some of y'all are having regrets with being with. And that type of attitude will keep you from meeting this soulmate energy here that spirit is trying to give you heads up about. Wow. So let's see what this person here wants to say. <clears throat> what does this person here want to say to Scorpio? Tell me more about this person for Scorpio's love predictions in the month of November. Tell me more about Scorpio's love predictions here in the month of November, please. We have, I want to share my happiness with you. Oh, yeah. You definitely got someone new here that is all so excited about this. And they're all so very attracted to you. They enjoy being around you. They feel like they have just the most fun times when they are with you. Wow, and then we have, I am mindful of what I have done in the past, okay? So, wow. So, like I said, there is two different energies here. One energy here is obviously wanting to reconcile with you, Scorpios, and they want to position you in a space where they don't hurt you anymore. This could be the same person here that will be approaching you as a person that want you to know that they're being very mindful of their choices moving on with you so the ones that are looking forward to rekindling with an ex or a past lover here their energy is here but for others of you all scorpio you have someone new here because it says keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so you're going to definitely want to use your discernment, Scorpios, and follow your intuition here. You have two different energies here that are longing for you, okay? Wow, Scorpio. So there we have it, loves. This is your love predictions here for the month of November, all right? I definitely hope this helped brought you some clarity and even confirmation for what you maybe was intuitively here scorpio picking up about these energies all right definitely don't forget to subscribe smash that like button if this is your first time here and i definitely look forward to your next energy check in scorpios i love you Mwah. all right saggy sagittarius how are you archers <coughs> excuse me I hope all is well, Sagittarius. Welcome. We're going to see what are your love predictions, Sagittarius, in the month of November. Shout out to everyone that's sharing your time with me today. Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is your love predictions here for the month of November. Show me Sagittarius love life here for the month of November, please. Show me Sagittarius love life here for the month of November. What is Sagittarius's love life here for the month of November? Show me Sagittarius' love life here for the month of November. We 
have heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, Sagittarius. So it's time for you to have this heart to heart conversation in the month of November with someone. You two maybe could be holding back from each other. You two may know how you feel about each other, but you're not speaking up about it. You're not communicating about it. You're just letting the shit, the time and everything else fly you on by. Okay, I feel like in the month of November, you're going to realize here that there was a conversation that needed to be had or said something here that's not been addressed it. I don't feel like it's in a negative way or anything. I just feel like you two may be holding back and not telling each other what you both feel. Yeah, li listen, I can't make this up. We got express your love, Sagittarius. Even your angels is like, go ahead, go. <coughs> Excuse me. I got all excited. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Some of y'all, this could be someone from your past. Some of y'all, this could be someone new. Some of y'all, this is someone that you were holding back from and you just didn't open up to this person like you maybe wish you would have. Now is that time to do so. There could be something that has changed in you about your feelings and your emotions towards this person and you may feel like that this person needs to know this, but you haven't opened up and told this person how you feel and this is why your spirit team is saying go for it now is the time to do so now is the time to have this heart to heart conversation don't hold back tomorrow isn't promised <clears throat> man say i can't make this up this could be the one sagittarius all right somebody gonna fuck around and find out okay we got, you have already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, wow. Like I said, some of you all, you may have already met this person, but you just haven't opened up and told this person how you feel. Maybe your perspective on things has changed and that has allowed you to see this person in a totally different light than what you've seen this person in the past. Maybe their behavior has changed and now you look at this person different than what you've seen this person in the past. It's something here that has a different perspective about you too, but I don't feel like no one here is opening up about it. Wow. So let's see. Let's get some more details about this person. All right. One card at a time here, please, Spirit. I feel like you both have a lot to say because these cards are just keep trying to jump out. You see that? I can't even. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. Listen, who is this person? I want to make new memories with you, Sagittarius. Okay, I cannot make this up. I want to make new memories with you. Rather, again, if this is someone from your past, if this is someone new, someone Duffy wants to make new memories with you. Wow. You two have to open up and speak off of your chest, Sagittarius, okay? This could be even like an opportunity here that may be missed out on because neither one of you all are wanting to speak up about your feelings here. And you could see this person every day for some of you all or every so often, but you don't say anything, Sagittarius. So this, took, this could be a warning for you today to fucking say it. You remember that song, why don't you say it, say it, say it, okay? Fuck it up, archers, baby. So y'all just going to keep seeing each other in y'all dreams and y'all ain't going to say nothing. So y'all just going to keep passing each other up in your dreams. Be like, oh, well, I'll see them in my dreams. You better say something, Sagittarius. Why don't you say something, baby? I don't know. I'm trying to help you out. Don't look at me like that. Let's pull some cards out here, Sagittarius. Let's get more insight and details on this person here. Let's clarify. Let's clarify what does this heart-to-heart -heart conversation need to be? What does this heart-to-heart -heart conversation need to be for Sagittarius? Wow, Archers. If the reading is resonating for you, Earth Angels, don't forget to smash that like button, loves. All right. That'd be very much appreciated, Sagittarius. Thank you so much, loves. Clarify this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. What is this that Sagittarius needs to say? 
Uh, what is it that this person needs to say here? What is this conversation needing to be discussed? Justice. Wow. In reverse at that. Some of you all, this person could be a Libra. We have unfairness, lack of accountability. Oh, so this is why ain't nobody speaking up. Guilt, dishonesty, punishment. Ooh, somebody here was punished or someone here got the short end of the stick. Someone here was not treated fairly in this relationship or connection here. So this is why no one is speaking up about this. I feel like you both know what happened. You both knew what transpired here, but no one is wanting to address the elephant in the room. I feel like one is aware, well, both is aware, but one is waiting on the other to address the situation. For an example, I'm picking up here intuitively, Sagittarius. Let's say that this is someone that you dated in the past. Let's say that either you may be done something wrong to this person or this person may be done something wrong to you. Rather, what the situation is, you both knew what happened. And it's like one is waiting on the other to apologize or waiting on the other to bring up this conversation so it could be said or done with already. And until that happens... You can't necessarily be with this person like you want to because it's not like you two don't want to be with each other. It's just no one is speaking up about the situation here. It literally says you have already met the romantic partner you seek. So you know that this is your romantic partner. You know that you still have feelings about this person, but nobody is speaking up. And until this is being addressed, it... <laughs> It's like one is waiting on the other to give them the justice that they're deserving of. But that person that know that they need justice behind this is not speaking up. Oh, my gosh. Listen, book a personal reading, Sagittarius, so we can get this shit together. Okay. Oh, my goodness, Archers. So let's see what this person wants to say. Let's see how do they feel about this situation. Let's see who is doing what. All right. Let's see who is doing what. Oh, my gosh. Sagittarius, is it one of those days or what? Tell me more about this, okay? What do they want to say? I use my work. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I use my work as a way to move on from you. Wow. Again, a trying to avoid the elephant in the room. Trying to avoid what has happened here. It's like you both know intuitively what has took place here, but nobody is going to speak up about it. <clears throat> I feel like one party feel like that they shouldn't have to because they're not the one who did it. And then the other person feel like, well, you already moved on anyway. So what's the point? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm picking up here energetically wise, Sagittarius. I need you two to get this shit together. Okay. Wow. I'm not going to, you know, hover over that any longer. Um, again, if you would like to book a personal reading with Sagittarius, we can get more insight and details about that. All right. My email details are down below in the description box, Sagittarius. But this is what we got for your love predictions here, Archers, in the month of November. For whomever that that resonated with, definitely comment down below. Give me your feedback on that if this was your situation. Okay. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. I love you and I definitely wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Mwah. All right, Cappies. How are you, goats? Come on in. <clears throat> Let's see what is going to be your love predictions, Capricorn, for the month of November. What do we have for Capricorn love predictions for the month of November? Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here, goats, for the month of November. What is going to be Capricorn's love predictions here for the month of November? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into the details. What is going to be Capricorn's love prediction here for the month of November, Spirit Team? Hi, goats. I hope all is well. 
please be sure to smash the like button loves as you all come in please thank you so much what's coming in for love in the month of november for my goats please oh thank you codependency uh-oh <coughs> excuse me addictions are affecting your love or your romantic life all right so either you capricorn or someone in your energy here is being very codependent on a situation or a circumstance or a person a place or a thing and this could be blocking you or keeping you from having the potentials of being in a committed relationship. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and this can be an example, excuse me, of friends, loved ones, family. You may have people that are very codependent on you that you have to help out in some type of form, fashion. Okay. And that may takes up a lot of your time. So you're not able to have the type of romantic love life that you desire because of other people that may depend on you. So when you're dating someone, you may not even have that much time to spend with that person because most of your time might have to go into doing other things for other people. Or this could be vice versa, okay? This could be the situation that's going on with this person that you're dating, and they may have someone that's codependent on them. They could have an ex that's codependent on them. You can have an ex that's codependent on you. And you need to get this person out of your energy so you don't miss out on your own romantic opportunities here. Okay, that's for someone. So let's see what else about this person here we can find out for your love predictions for the month of November, goats. Wow. What else? <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I feel jealous when I think about you with others. See, this could be some type of addiction that this person has. Or you, vice versa. I don't know. Um, I wasn't a fly on the wall here. But someone may have a jealous energy or spirit on them where they codependent on you or just someone who go dependent on people well, they don't know how to do things for themselves. They don't know how to go out and maybe make a living for themselves so they could depend on you to provide for them. Someone could be used to depending on you financially or this could be vice versa, this person that you're dating. You may notice that their family or their ex may be still codependent on them to do things for them. And they're not even still even together. Don't you hate situations like that when you know people that you could see it in the situation and what's going on and people be so nonchalant or they don't even see that that person is still depending on them and they don't even they shouldn't even be doing that. They should be doing their own thing, especially if this is like a romantic situation and they're not together anymore. It's some type of situation like that that's going on here behind scenes, but this person is not saying anything about it. They're just letting this person fucking milk the damn cow and getting all the milk as much as they can and not saying anything. It's kind of like somebody's like, well, oh, well. Capricorn or this person don't realize what I'm doing. I'm not fit to say anything. I'm going to take advantage and get what the fuck I can get out of it. It's that type of energy here. That somebody is trying to take advantage of. But they could not be saying that. But they could be showing in other ways by being jealous. Because they want you. It sounds like basically Capricorn either whoever this person that you're dating they could have an ex here that still want this person all to themselves and you could see this shit and you may have told this person, but they may not see the shit, but they will eventually when they run out of shit, but or vice versa. This person could be trying to tell you this Capricorn, but you ain't aware of it. Okay, just take that resonates for you. So let's get more details on this situation here, Capricorn. Wow, I do not expect this to resonate with everybody. All right. Let's see here. Tell me more about Capricorn's love predictions, please. Tell me more about Capricorn's love predictions here for the month of November. Excuse me, my apologies. 
The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here, okay? Some of y'all, you could be exchanging energies with the Virgo. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. All right, we got here mm, fruits of labor, rewards, luxury, self-significant, I'm sorry, damn near self-made, basically, financial independence, okay? So again, yeah, that, that hits it right on the nail, Financial independence. The Nine of Pentacles card is an independent type of individual who has their own establishments. They could be an entrepreneur or someone that has been able to establish very well on their own. Okay. And like I said, because they're looking at you like this Capricorn or this person is looking at your person that you're dating like this, their ex still relies on somebody who they're not even in a relationship anymore with. And that shit could be very frustrating in this relationship with this person. So someone may need to speak up about this. Someone is not speaking up about this. Oh shit. But if don't you speak up, the universe is about to speak up. Something got to come to a fucking end here. Scorpio energy. Some of y'all, this person could be a Scorpio. There's a tower that's about to happen or a tower situation. It says a sudden change. Okay. If something doesn't take place, this could cause chaos between you and this person or between this person and whoever this codependency energy here is. Wow, Capricorn. So let's see what this person wants to say. What is this person wanting to say to Capricorn right now? What's going to take place here? What needs to take place here? <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me more about this person, please. And thank you. Tell me more about this person. We have, I know I messed up. I'm sorry. Wow. You see there? This is what needs to be said, okay, before this tower situation happened. Or I feel like some of y'all that it may have already happened. This is what this person is going to want to come in and communicate with you. Because by them messing up and not taking necessary action here like they should have in the past, caused some type of chaos here. This could have been a very painful ending or a situation ended and got out of hand here. Something went down with that tower situation here in the month of November because of a situation that was not being addressed beforehand is what I'm picking up here. Wow, goats. Very interesting here. This is what we got here for you, Capricorn, for the month of November for your love predictions, okay? Definitely, if this resonated for some, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. We'll definitely much appreciate it. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, Capricorn, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box, all right? Thank you so much, goats, and I definitely wish you and this person here the best, my loves, all right? Mwah. All right, Aquas, how are you, loves? I hope all is well. <coughs> all right, I got these aftermath coughs. Finally getting my voice back. I'm so excited. All right. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being here. Again, please don't forget to smash that like button, loves. All right. It would be very much appreciated. All right, Aquas. Let's see about your love predictions for the month of November here. Okay, let's see about this person here that's coming in towards you. Show me the energies that are going to be surrounding Aquarius in the month of November. What do we have here for Aquarius? Let's see what's going on in your love life. What love predictions do we have coming in for Aquarius for the month of November? What love predictions do we have coming in for Aquarius in the month of November, please? What do Aquarius need to know when it comes to their love life here in the month of November? 
Wow, we got keep an open mind, Aquas. Well, look at there. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Wow, so some of y'all in the month of November are not going to be single for long. Okay, you got someone here that your spirit team here wants you to keep an open mind about. This is someone that even though they might not be your typical person that you maybe pick out of a crowd, but there's going to be other qualities or values about this person that is going to draw you into them that you are going to least expect. I feel like here for some of y'all in the month of November, let's see what else. Let's see what other details here, Aquarius, that we can pick up about this person. We have, I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah. So some of y'all, this person may see you at a distance or they may, you know, pass by you every day, but don't say anything. And they want to say things to you, but they don't know how to. OK, they don't know how to do it without maybe feeling awkward. OK. Oh, my goodness. They want to do more than just talk to you, Aquarius. OK, we got I really want to kiss you as well. OK, so I feel like every time this person see you. Every time you start talking, they just be thinking about like, damn, I really want to kiss Aquarius right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aquas. Yeah, look at that. I think you are so adorable. Somebody is very, very attracted to you. Okay. Listen. Oh my, I love the way you dress. Okay, remind you, all these cards jumped out at one time. So this person is going to have a lot to say to you. Once they can finally open up to you, they're going to have a lot that they want to say. We have, I am regretting my previous actions. Wow, somebody may even regret not talking to you sooner. Okay, some of y'all, this person may found out that you're dating someone else or that you're talking to someone else and they regret not maybe talking to you sooner. Okay, for some of you all, not for all of you all. Let's see. Let's pull out some tarot. Wow, Aquarius, if this is resonating with you so far, don't forget to smash that like button, Aquas. Let's get more insight on this energy here. Tell me more about this person, please. Tell me more about Aquarius's love predictions for the month of November. Let's clarify, keep an open mind. Tell me more about this person here that Aquarius needs to keep an open mind about. Tell me more about this person here that Aquarius needs to keep an open mind about, please. Damn, I barely get time to pull the cards out. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this person could be a Virgo. All right, or they could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Whoever this person here is, they're going to put in the work for show. This is someone that is not going to mind putting in the work for this connection for you. Ooh, I like this person already, Aquas. What else? <coughs> Excuse me. What else about this person in the month of November that Aquarius needs to know? Anything else here? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy as well. Very heavy earth placements or elements here. This is someone that's going to be in the space of giving and wanting to share with you. Uh, they're going to be very gener general. They're going to be a very genuine energy. Let's just say that. <clears throat> we have nothing but Pentacles out here. This is someone that's going to be very financially stable. Okay. Um, this is going to be someone that's going to love to buy you things, okay? This is kind of like their love language. They like to buy people that they love or care about things. So that's how you're going to know that this person likes you or whoever this person is. Because look, <coughs> excuse me, they already pay attention to the way that you dress. So this is somebody who already peep out the way people dress is what gives them some type of turn on. And they like the way you dress. They think that you're so adorable. They really are attracted to you. I will not be surprised here. They got to spend this money on something. Okay. Fuck it up. Yeah, we got the three of cups here. This person loves being around you. This could be a counselor. We got celebration, friendship, okay, collaboration here. Someone Duffy is going to want to reach out to you, okay? Um, again, they could be a water sign or this person could be an earth sign. 
So let's see what they're going to want to say. <clears throat> For the month of November, Aquarius love predictions. Let's see what is this person here going to want to say. Let's see what is going to be that love language here. What are they going to want to say to you right now in the month of November? When you come across this person, let's see what they're going to want to say. We were too young to be together before. Wow. So some of you all, you already know this person. And I feel like maybe whatever predicament or maybe whatever situation that they were in, they maybe wasn't financial stable where they could help provide or give you the energy that you give them or, you know, provide things for them that they couldn't provide to you in the past because they were too young. They maybe were doing immature shit. I don't know, but this is someone now that is basically suited and booted and they want to do things with you now. Yeah, we got, I often recall memories of you. They definitely think about you a lot. They think about what the relationship could be like, okay? But someone here definitely wants to come towards you. They will be coming towards you in the month of November, all right? Wow, Aquarius. So that is what we have here for you, Aquas, all right? This is your love predictions here, okay, for the month of November here and why. If this resonated for you, Aquas, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we would love to have you here part of our family. And if you would love to book a personal reading with me, Aquarius, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box, okay? I love you, and I definitely wish you and this person here the best, all right? I hope things truly work out for you, too. Mwah! All right, fishes. Hi, Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope all is well. Come on in. Let's see what is going to be your love predictions here for the month of November. Let's see what is going to be Pisces love predictions here for the month of November. <clears throat> Let's see who is coming towards you, Pisces, or what is going to be your love predictions here for the month of November. What is Pisces' love predictions here for the month of November? Let's see. Shout out to everyone that's coming in. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Please be sure to smash that like button, loves, as you all come in, please. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right, fishes. What do we got for the mermaids and the mermans? What do we got for my fishes? Let's see what is going to be your love predictions, Pisces, for the month of November. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Wow, interesting here. So whoever this person that you're going to be meeting here or connecting with is someone that's going to be very religious based, meaning that this is someone that's going to have morals. Let's give a hand clap for that, okay? Because you're not going to run across too many people that come across as having morals because if someone has morals, that means that they respect themselves enough to be able to respect the person that they're in a relationship with, right? And this is the way to have like how they were brought up. They were brought up to do things in a certain structure and environment. And so were you. So this is where I feel like you two are going to be very relatable with each other. All right. So that's a plus, Pisces. All right. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. Yeah. A big plus. Okay. One plus one equals two. Okay. We got, yes, this is your soulmate, Pisces. Fuck it up. So that may be confirmation for some of you all. All right, that this person for your love predictions for the month of November, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is confirmation for you. Some of y'all, you may have already met this person. All right. <clears throat> wow, we have, I am focused on my career and finances. See, they already got morals where they make sure that they focus on their career and their finances. 
You ain't got to never worry about this person being broke. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. That's confirmation too with that cough. Okay, listen. That takes the burdens off on you. You know? Um, but not to say that this is all about money or anything, but this is someone who really much values themselves. And they expect the same from their partner here. So I feel like when you first meet this person, for the ones that haven't met this person, they may not have as much time that you maybe would desire to be with this person because of their schedule, because of their career or whatever it is that they do, because they value themselves and making sure that things are in alignment for them financially, spiritually here. All right, that may be at first a little conflict there between you two, but I feel like the more that you get to know each other, the more that you connect with each other here on a soul level, that will change, okay? So let's get more details about your love predictions here for the month of November. Let's get more details for Pisces love predictions here for the month of November. Let's see what else. Wow, Pisces, if the reading so far is resonating for you, fishes, don't forget to smash that like button, loves, all right? What else here, spirit team? Thank you so much. Oh, okay. We got the food core, Aries energy. Aries energy has been in your energy a lot lately, Pisces, okay? Just an FYI there. Some of y'all, this person is an Aries that you are confirming that is your soulmate here today. Okay, or they could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. But someone definitely wants a new beginning with you. And someone is definitely ready and willingly ready to take this leap of faith. Maybe this is something that this person was kind of holding back from because they had so many other, you know, responsibilities on their plate. So they couldn't be 100% maybe available to you like they want to be now. I feel like this person maybe was waiting from spirit or waiting from them, you know, from their own intuition to get confirmation that you were someone that was more so like a soulmate to them. You know, they're very tapped in type of person. So they don't look outside for validation. They wait to their spirit or to their guardian angels tell them what they need to know. Then they make a move. Come the fuck through. That's the type of person you want to be with because that's someone who got patience. And they're not just going to go off of what everybody else say, including you. They're going to wait to make sure that that's for them. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So let's see what they're going to want to say. <clears throat> when you meet this person or the next time that you communicate with this person, Pisces, let's see what they're going to want to say. Let's see what's going to uh, be on their mind here. Tell me more about this person here, please, for Pisces. Wow, fishes. I'm loving your reading here today. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Baby. What did I say? I like this person's momentum. That shit, is, that shit is just sexy. It's sexy to me when someone can be in a space of accountability and also be in very much awareness of themselves. And, you know, they put themselves first, if anything, you know what I'm saying? And when they do that, they're going to put you first too. I am striving to be a better version of myself. That's who you want on your team. That's who you want to give your time and effort to because they're giving it to themselves. And if they're giving it to themselves, they're going to give it back to you. All right. Wow, I respect this person for this, whomever this energy here is that you're going to be connecting here with Pisces in the month of November. Beautiful energy check-in for you today, Pisces. Well, there we have it. This is your love predictions here, Pisces, for the month of November. All right, I definitely hope this help brought you some clarity, even gave some of you all confirmation about this person here, okay? Definitely, if so, don't forget to subscribe, Pisces. We would love to have you here part of our family. All right, definitely go check out your full readings that I do post on my channel for you. And if you would love more exclusive readings, definitely come and check me out on Patreon. And if you would like to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box, my loves. All right. I love you and I definitely wish you and this person the best. Mwah.
All right, so wow, that completes all 12 zodiac signs for your love predictions for the month of November. I love it, I love it, I love it. I definitely wish everyone the best, all right? We had some great energy check-ins today. I definitely hope you all got some type of clarity, some news, some confirmations, all right? And I definitely look forward to the next energy check-in. So remember, don't forget to set your notification bells so you are aware of the next All Sign reading and any other readings that I do post on my channel. If you would love to beat the crowd and get my readings early, definitely come and check me out on Patreon for that opportunity. And I am available for personal readings if you would love to book a personal reading with me. I also have opportunities for monthly clients, all right? If you would love to have on a monthly basis of two to four readings a month when it comes to your career, your finances, your love life, your birth chart readings, your spiritual path, your journey, definitely come and email me and we can set you up to be assisted on a monthly basis for monthly readings, all right? Thank you all so much. Family, I love you and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.